Welcome to the Colt AR-15 resource. Today we're going to take a look at the Colt CM556, more commonly known as the M5 carbine. As I open this box up and go through the product details, please keep in mind when I do these videos, I do them with a focus on the Colt collector and somebody who is maybe new to the hobby and not familiar with what they should see or, or would see inside one of these boxes. So things that seem irrelevant to you, such as uh, box measurements or printing on barrier bags or something like that. Um, some of those details may seem unnecessary or irrelevant to you. But please keep in mind, those are details that the collector community uh, often want to know. So with that in mind, let's take a look at the Colt M5 carbine. So on the right side box end, we see the product label. The QR code on the left is used during uh, production and, and product tracking. Uh, you see the QR code here on the box end. You'll see it on the inside of the box. And there's also a Q, uh, QR code on the lower receiver of the firearm. You'll see caliber 5.56 millimeter, barrel length 16 inches, model number CM556-16-M5S, and then the firearm serial number. The CM556 is the primary... Uh, product family. The dash 16 is the barrel length and then dash M5S indicates M5 carbine semi-automatic. Uh, Colt does make the CM556 and select fire configurations and those are notated with the product designation at the end of M5A. The CM556 is packed and ships in Colt's standard clamshell type cardboard box. You just raise the, the, prime, the main flap up. And so you see the primary compartment here that has the firearm inside. You have the accessory bag on the left. And then over here on the right hand side is the second QR code label that I previously mentioned. So to start out, we'll take a look at what's inside the accessory bag here and go over those details. All right, so here we have the accessory bag for the CM556. This bag's been opened by me already because I took uh, photographs of the contents. And uh, so we'll just go through what's in here one item at a time. Here you have a standard second generation PMAG, 30 round black polymer. Here is the M5 operator's manual. This has uh, feature diagrams, uh, breakdown instructions, cleaning instructions, um, there it's showing you details of the ambidextrous selector levers, troubleshooting, various details. Here you have a standard mil spec GI type black nylon sling. Here are 1913 rail sections to attach to the M-lock slots on the firearm itself. You have one rail section that has seven slots and these two rail sections each have five slots each. Here's a QD sling attachment push button. And then here is a QD socket that you can attach anywhere on the M-lock slots on the firearm to use your QD sling attachment with. 
And here is a mil spec GI type cleaning kit. We'll look at the details of that here in just a second. Uh, the barrier bag for the accessories. You'll see here it's mil spec made by Edco. And the date on it is August 22nd. I've scanned the QR code on my on my box here, and the factory date on it is nine. Uh, is either uh, September twenty second or September twenty eighth of uh, twenty twenty two. So your your date on the accessory bags or your date on the barrier bags are not a definite indicator of when your firearm was made, but sometimes they can be very close. So let me uh, let me move these small items out of the way and we'll look at what's in the cleaning kit. All right, as mentioned previously, the cleaning kit that comes with the CM556 is in a standard GI mil-spec type nylon pouch. Uh, you've got three buttons here. You unfasten. You have what is commonly known as an Alice clip here. This has been replaced by uh, Molly type attachment points. So your nylon bag has two storage compartments, one up here and then one right here. Up top you've got a GI nylon cleaning brush, commonly referred to as a toothbrush. Here's a bottle for CLP or solvent, whatever you want to put in it. Looks like it's about uh, maybe four ounces. Wants to roll away on me. Here is another bottle. That looks like it's probably about two ounces. So they've included these hobby quality, uh, what's supposed to be pipe cleaner material. Although I appreciate their effort, I don't recommend using this on your firearms. It may be better than nothing. But if you look real closely, you'll see how this material, it frays and comes off very easy. So if you use this to clean your firearm, you could end up with a bunch of little fibers from this at different places in your firearm. I recommend getting on Amazon or visiting a local smoke shop and buying uh, actual pipe smoker quality pipe cleaners. All right, here we've got a bag that has a bore brush and bronze chamber brush. Then you've got a bag here that has a T-handle section, three, uh, three rod segments, an extension piece, and then you have an eyelet attachment for holding uh, your patches. Your, your uh, chamber brush and your bore brush will thread directly into the rod section. So. so there you have the contents of the cleaning kit. Let me get these items out of the way and we'll get the rifle out of the box. All right, let's get the CM556 out of the box. To do that, you just lift up on your main compartment flap, fold it back, and then you have the CM556 inside there in a barrier bag. So as you see, it ships with a chamber flag in place. And it is also in a mil spec barrier bag. Let me get the rifle out of the bag and we'll look at some quick details. All right, I have the carbine out of the box. Um, I thought I'd show collectors out there what's on the barrier bag. There you have the Edco manufacturer again, mil spec markings. And then notice the, the uh, production date of the bag, August of 2021. The accessory bag was August of 2022. I know from scanning the QR code on my box that this gun uh, was completed at the factory 
September of 2022. So uh, just in, just illustrating to you that the barrier bag dates do not reflect manufacturing dates. All right, quick details here on the CM556. You got a Magpul CTR stock, standard A2 pistol grip. Uh, some quick details visible here are reinforcements around the trigger hammer pins. This is the release lever for the bolt on the right side. Colt has a proprietary rail system on the CM556. It is M-Lock rail system. If you look at the top here, you have the rail interlock. This interlock feature, along with what they call the, the bridge nuts down here, they prevent any rotation in the rail system. The rail system uh, does not have numbered slots. You've got Troy backup iron sights. And then there's the Troy folding front sight. We'll flip around and look at the left side. Uh, there you see the M5 laser engraved mark. There's a QR code. Yeah, the magazine release, traditional bolt catch. Again, the reinforcement around hammer and trigger pins. So I am going to do two follow-up videos where I go over the lower receiver in more detail. And then I go over the upper receiver in more detail. What really makes the M5 design stand out isn't readily vi visible. It's uh, upper receiver details that are underneath the rail system. So if you're interested in seeing that, uh, look for my other two videos coming soon. Thanks again for stopping by the Colt AR-15 resource and taking a look at the Colt CM-556.